Hiya, my name is Serena and this is Serena Speaks and this channel is designed to help, support and motivate those of you who are going through your pharmacy pre-reg exam. So I'm a newly qualified pharmacist myself, I just sat the June 2016 exam, so I know how hard a year this can be. But hopefully through the aid of this channel I can help you support and support you in your learning needs. So the way that I'm going to structure my videos is by going through the BNF70. I do understand that the BNF72 is now out, but any updates or changes that there are, I will include them in my videos. And we'll go through the BNF chapter by chapter. We'll then later on look at any over-the-counter advice, um, any reclassifications, so what's changed from POM to P and vice versa. And we'll look at who's eligible for MURs, new medicine services, and we'll take it from there, really. So... Having gone through the pre-reg year myself, I understand how exhausting a year it can be and particularly how hard it can be to motivate yourself even for an hour or two to revise after work. So one of the best pieces of advice I can give is to try and actively learn as much as you can whilst you're on the job. So for example, whenever you're dispensing any medication, have a look on the actual label for any warning or extra counselling points that there may be. So for example, if that medicine needs to be taken before or after food. Um, and even I know with some systems, for example, Proscript, a pop up message will come up um, when drug X, for example, interacts with drug Y and will say what kind of effect that that interaction will have on the patient. So when you do get situations like that, try and go over and look at why this particular drug might interact with this other one. And overall, it will help you save time and it will make your vision that little bit more efficient. And if your pharmacy deals with any methadone patients, have a look at what um, patient details and what records need to be kept and how long those records need to be kept for. Because ultimately, not only does the pre-reg year help you for your exam, it ultimately will help you to be a better pharmacist when you start practicing. So I do hope that you find these videos useful. And if you do, please share, like, and subscribe them and let's learn together.